What is up, everybody? Welcome to Three Red Basement. I'm your host, Otto, coming to you live and direct from Grotto. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is the quintessential item that you all need for your comic book collection. You all need these. You all have slabs. You need to show your slabs off because they're beautiful pieces of art, and you need slab stands in order to do that. So in this video, I purchased 10 of them, and I can't wait to show you guys the slab stands that I purchased, all right? So nine of them are for me. That's right. I probably have 20 already. So slab stands is on Instagram. You can find them slab stands. Please reach out to them. American made, custom made, handmade, wooden, painted to anything that you want. Please check out slab stands. They're on Instagram. They're a good friend of ours. And they always come out with quality products. But before we get started, you guys, please check out all the friends of the channel. You know who they are. The Defects, Very Gary, Rocket Comics, Aegis Comics of Alaska, Lords of the Long Box, the NY Warriors, Joker M21, Erod, Keep It Thrill, Spine Ticks. You guys know they're all there. Um, just check them all out and get ready, okay? This is going to be a great video. So before we get started, you know the deal, guys. Thumbs this video up or thumbs it down, whatever. Uh, just give us some kind of thumb that you watch this video. Subscribe now. We're close to 3,000 subs. We're catching in on that. I want you to do that. Hit that reminder button so you know when our videos are coming up, guys. Because, you know, when I check the analytics, a lot of you guys aren't. And please, as always, comment below. Tell us what you liked about this video. If you had any questions or any of our upcoming events that we always um, post. If you're watching this video, it is before the Three Men in a Basement comic swap. This is absolutely going to be epic, okay? This will be like no other con that you have been to. Um, and this is just going to be an absolute huge success or a complete failure. But I'll take the huge success over a complete failure. But, you know, you got to give it a shot. This is the fourth one we're doing. This is the fourth one that we scaled. It's in Newington, Connecticut. If you're contemplating, if you think, well, there might not be some good things, check out our latest video of all the books that people are bringing. People like Black Dragon Comics, Michael the Beast Benston, The Comic Barn, unbelievable. Um these are all some of the vendors that will be there, okay? Just all these people that will be there. We'll have on-site submissions for CGC. Uh, we have sports cards. It's just going to be absolutely fantastic. Fantasy Frames will be there with their custom-made frames for their books if you want to display them on your walls. But now, without further ado, let's talk about my slab stands, okay? With slab stands, I have gone way down this rabbit hole. I mean, I have gone down this rabbit hole like you wouldn't believe that now I've been buying slab stands for over oh, four years. They're all over the place. Uh, whether it's my werewolf by night, whether it's my juggernaut, my three men in the basement, my Dr. Doom, my Jean Grey. I forgot what I asked for uh, in this box. I do know that there's one for my juggernaut, my first pair of juggernaut, and short box Bernie got one also. So it came the other day, tightly packed in this box. And I'm going to show you what we got. All right. So I'm going to take these out one by one um, and show you what we got. And, you know, communication has just been fantastic. Again, you guys, these are handmade, custom made. So it's not like they're coming off an assembly line. So as everything, you know, it takes time. But listen, what do I always say? This isn't a sprint. It's a marathon. Okay. So first slab stand that I'm going to show. Ooh, this is awesome. All right. Check that out. That is my first appearance of the Juggernaut slab stand, okay? So the slab stand fits perfectly in here, and you have this widget, okay? This widget, you can either snap in half to give you any type of angle that you want. But look, nicely wrapped, the card right there, anything that you want to know, hand stamped. You know, Nate is such a great guy. Um, you can find him, you know, slab stands at yahoo.com. Check him out on Facebook. We all know him from Instagram. So that's one of them. Oh, I can't wait to show that one. All right. Perfect for displaying. All right. Next one. I think it's the second one. Yep. So this one, again, short box Bernie slab stands. All right. Now, um, some yellow labels. I've got some um, other ones going on. So let's see what we have. And here we go. Ooh, this is a nice one. This is one of the... Uh, this is one that I had made for my yellow CG CGC Signature Series books. Um, my 9.8 white. Fantastic book right there. Fantastic slab stand right there. Really excited for that, to go with any yellow label uh, for Signature Series. Okay. Then I have a blue label 9.8 because you need that, right? You need that for all your 9.8s. And it's interchangeable, okay, with any 9.8s. All right, next one. 
Oh, this is great. This is for my Omega Red 9.8. Look at that. I had no idea what to expect. Nate did this all by himself. Omega Red's coming. Get your 9.8s. Get all the raws that you can. You didn't hear that from me because I still want to buy them. All right. Oh, this is the custom one. I'm going to save this one for last. All right. Next one. Oh, this is for my Jean Grey. <gasps> oh, my God. Look at that. For my Jean Grey first appearance, X Men 101. Oh, my God. That's absolutely pretty. Oh, my God. It's going to look so dope. Oh, because right now it's on a cool thing from, um, you know, one of the stands that you buy at like Michael's. All right. Oh, I needed this one too. This is for my Doctor Strange. Not my first appearance of Doctor Strange. My Strange Tales one. That's really unique. This is for um, my, the first appearance in his own book. Look at that. The Eye of Agamotto right there. Just the painting. Look at the painting, you guys. The painting, the back, the level of decal, just the individuality of it. Everybody needs, I mean, you need these for your collection. You need to display your books. Your books should be shown. They are pieces of art. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It just gets better and better. This is for my uh, FF4. Look at that. My Silver Surfer. Nate, you crushed this one, dude. You absolutely crushed this one. Look at the decal. Look at Silver Surfer right there. Look at that. Oh, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Oh, my God. I wish I had more. Oh, this is for my Punisher. Here we go. This is for my Punisher right here. Look at that. Sick, sick, sick. So excited for that. Uh, next one. Uh, this is for my Brave Bull 28. Look at this one. Fantastic. Such an awesome, awesome book. Starro on it. Brave and a Bull 28 to match. And then my last one. Oh, my Deathstroke. Oh, my God. Look at that. My first appearance of Deathstroke. That is awesome. All right. So those are my... Those are all my slab stands I just dropped, but that's okay because they were packed well. And you know, that always happens here, three men in the basement. And you know what? They all still look great. Oh my God. Look at them all. All right, you guys, that's a quick video about the 10 things you need in your collection or the one accessory that you need for your comic book collection. So on behalf of three men in the basement, I am Everett Otto. Comment, subscribe, share our videos. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope to see you at the three men in the basement comic book swap right around the corner. Slab stands. Great t-shirt, great logo, everything about it. Omega Red. Oh, my God. Yellow labels, blue labels, 9.8s. Juggernaut. Just fantastic. Nate, you crushed it. Slab stands, you rock. I am out.